What's up weirdos? Welcome back to the Learned Journeyman channel and today we're gonna hop into No One Survived and holy ravioli guys, this game came out of nowhere. I didn't even know about this game until this week and I saw other YouTubers playing it. It looks really cool. Um, honestly, it looks like uh, a weird love child between uh, Seven Days or Daisy and the Infected or Miss Survival. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. But uh, it, it's a it's a really cool uh, really cool looking survival game. Uh, it's brand new, came out like within a few weeks ago, and uh, well, we're just gonna hop into it. You guys, you guys have to check it out. So we're gonna hop in, and here's our guy. We made a guy. There's a tutorial that you can do. Uh, so you, you go through all that. Uh, first things first. Let's look at that map because it is a big map. We are way over here in the top right corner of this island over here, I think. Yeah, see that red arrow over there? That's where we're at. And you can see this island is just massive. It's a huge map. Um, there's, it looks like at least five or six towns. And then looks like an airport and some other stuff. There's a dock over there. So there's so much to explore. There's lots of building and crafting in this game. And of course, lots of zombies. Uh, I, I've been impressed from what I've seen. I think uh, the developer, I think he's Chinese. So he is English isn't his first language, so there there are going to be some bumps in the road, just like with Mist. Uh, there's going to be some bumps in the road, but th this game is so far beyond what I would have expected for a um, for a um, early access survival game. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit. I did turn it up because people were saying that uh, the brightness is um, it is kind of dark. I'm noticing it's not too bad, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better right there. Excellent. In fact, I think I could go a little bit more. What do you guys think? Well, let's go a little bit more. I don't want it to be too bright. So let's turn that down just a bit more. Okay, that's a little bit better right there. Okay, so first things first. Uh, we want to gather up some sticks and some stones. That's going to be really important. So let's go ahead and gather up some of that. We're also looking for sticks. Hello, where are the sticks? Where are the sticks at? I don't know, can we punch these things? No. Well, we'll, we'll look around. I, I'm afraid to go inside some of these buildings just yet because, uh, like I said, there's gonna be zombies and stuff. That's not a stick that we can pick up. Where are all the sticks at? Come on. Where are the sticks at? I know I saw sticks somewhere. Can't, uh, can't grab anything over here. Alright, I think we found our first stick right here. There we go. There's one stick. Here's another one that we can pick up. Okay, good. And I think the first thing we want to do, uh, we want to go into our build menu right here, the little hammer, and we want to craft an axe. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to make an axe. I think we're going to put this down into three, so we'll put that right there. Uh, another thing I want to make is a spear, so let's see. We have what we need for that, so let's make that. It's going to be really important that we uh, were able to defend ourselves early on. Uh, now, there's plenty of guns in the game, so that shouldn't be a problem. We should be able to find some good guns. What else am I going to need? I know I'm going to need a construction hammer. I don't think I need that just yet. Um, let's see what else. We're probably gonna need. Oh, this is this is a knife. It says stone sword, but it's a knife. Um, we need another stick. We could cut down this little shrub right here. Let's go three. Pull out the axe. Let's smack this thing. Can I smack it? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see what we picked up there. Uh, we picked up some plant fibers and some more sticks. So there we go. That's what I was looking for. All right, so let's go back in here. And then we want to hit stone sword. There we go. It's really just a knife. But we'll craft that up. That way we have one. Okay, cool. We're going to put that into... We'll put it into four for now. And let's see. Simple cloth bag. What do we need for that? We're going to need fabric. Okay. So we don't quite have that. No worries. Um, I think I'm going to make two spears. Just in case. What's that over there? Is that an armadillo? What is that? That's a rabbit. Okay. 
I'm not going to worry too much about the rabbit. Let's see, there's some more plant fibers that we can pick up. And then if I can find... Oh, I already got one more stick. Okay, so let's craft up one more spear. Wait, what was this I picked up? Herbs! Okay, <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that was uh, just plant fibers, but herbs. So there's so much stuff in this game. I'm, I'm going to go through it in a second. So I want to make sure that we're armed a little bit better than just having one spear. Because so I think the spears do break after a while. Okay, so there we go. So I want to I want to hop into our tab here, and then I want to click on this. This is the little book. It's going to show skills, and that's something that we can level up with. Technology is huge. There's so many things here that you can build. Uh, now, in order to build things, you have to have these things in your inventory. So you have to have a log and three stones in your inventory before you can build a processing table. So you can see there's so many things here, so many things that we can craft. Um, so we're definitely going to go through that. The base building looks pretty good. Uh, I, I set the, um, the zombie attack to every 15 days just to give us kind of a, a better start. Because I don't know what I'm doing, guys. This is the first time I've ever hopped into this game. So there we go. Uh, we've got herbs. We can rotate this with R, like that. You can make a little bit more space in your inventory. Uh, in terms of building, um, we're going to need a hammer, I think. Stab the stab the bunny. Come here. Come here. I, I, need, uh, I need a hammer. I think it's... Uh, I think we got to grab a log first. Can I grab this one? No. Got to cut down a tree first. All right. Let's cut down a tree. Get this out of the way. Okay. There it goes. It's going to fall. Hopefully not on top of us. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. And just smack this. Okay. There we go. Now we get a log. Okay. And then we'll go into here. And we want to build a construction hammer. There we go. Make. All right, and uh, now we'll go to five. I just want to show you guys what you can do here. So you access your building menu uh, with the scroll wheel. You just click down on that. And then look at all this stuff. Look at all the stuff that we can build. This is amazing. So there you go, structures, roofs. Um, this is uh, workbenches and stuff like that. Uh, once that. Once we open that up in the technology tree, that stuff will appear here. Uh, furniture and, of course, wooden boxes and stuff. So tons and tons of building. We can even defend our base from the zombies and the hordes that will show up. So that's exciting. For now, we're going to hop in and start looting stuff. Uh, now, people were saying that the best area to move to is kind of in the middle. I think that's probably the best area, honestly. Uh, it's kind of a central location. That's kind of where I would like to move towards. Uh, but, of course, we're just going to start out... Uh, over here and hopefully we don't get into any trouble oh my it's dark in here isn't it now, I think we can search some of this stuff oh it sure is dark in here I may have to turn up the lighting yeah it, it's just a little bit too dark so let's go back to screen settings and brightness we're gonna turn it back up that's a little bit better. I think you guys can see that. I, I, I might even turn up the uh, brightness a little bit when I'm editing. Okay, we can search this. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, we've got... Okay, this looks like... This looks like garden stuff. In fact, I'm going to throw these herbs in here. Because I don't think I'm going to need those just yet. Now, the one thing I've heard is if you leave stuff on the ground, it will despawn. But if you leave stuff in here, I don't think it despawns. So, we'll come back for some of that stuff. Right now, I really don't want to be wasting inventory space when I don't have much. Can we climb on here? Doesn't look like there's anything up there. Alright, let's come around here. Okay, so there's still, there is a little bit of lighting issue that I'm noticing. It's not too bad. But there is a little bit of lighting issue. It may just be the time of day also. Okay, we can search these crates here. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, cotton and a pickaxe. Oh, that's that's kind of nice. But again, I don't think we I don't think we need that quite yet. Okay, these are all... This is all one one thing. These four crates here. They're, they're all just one searchable thing. 
Okay, you also got cars here that you can search. I think you can even use vehicles as well. I think you can drive them. Okay, so there's nothing in there. We can open this up. Check out the engine. Let's see what we got in here. Um, copper block. I'm not going to grab that. I don't know what that's for just yet. Let's see what we got in here. Car battery, okay, fuel and stuff like that. Again, lots of loot that I'm noticing. We're just not quite ready for that stuff. Still very early on in the game. Can we get into the car? Doesn't look like it. All right, got a little cabin back here. Nothing in it. This would be a good place to store wood, though, I suppose. There's some firewood there. Yeah, I am going to have to turn this, the uh, the brightness down just a little bit. It's just It's just a little bit too bright. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn down the uh, global illumination. That might help a little bit too. Yeah, that helped. Both of those helped a lot. So we've got some buildings over there. We've also got oh, more, more vehicles over here now. Just hold down E, you can search at car parts. Again, stuff that we're probably going to need. I hate passing it over, but I just don't have the space. If you see our, our inventory, it's just this tiny, tiny little thing. I don't know where we're storing it. I don't know if we're storing it in our pants. Yeah, don't mind the bulge in the pants. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, we're we're going to need, like, a, uh, a bag of some sort. I know there there's military bags and backpacks and stuff like that. So hopefully we can find something like that. Like I said, uh, we can we can craft we can craft one, but we don't have the available materials. I think we need fabric for that. And what we got over here? Let, let's let's check over here. Nothing over here. I will say that I'm super excited for this game. After seeing uh, a few other people that I like to watch on YouTube, I saw them get very excited about it. So that gives me hope. It gives me a lot of hope. And our stamina is pretty low right now, so I gotta be careful about that. Oh, what do we got over here? Got a dumpster over here. I don't think we can search it though. So some of this stuff we can't search. Looks like a pickaxe or something here. Can't pick it up. Yeah, some of the stuff we can't search. I think we're gonna have to go into some of these houses. Now I know there's zombies over here. Because I've seen other people start over here. So let's come over here. We'll clear out some of the zombies. We gotta be careful. We gotta be very careful. I'm not seeing anybody yet. I wish this was uh, first person. It, it is third person. It makes it a little bit harder for me. I'm so used to first person. But we'll deal with it. Yeah, I, I don't see any zombies right now. Oh. Maybe they're sleeping. Maybe the zombies sleep during the day. I don't know. Nothing in there. Okay, we'll keep moving. Search this one. What's this? Electric furnace. It looks like a stovetop. Let's check in here. Nothing in there. Okay, so some of these uh, some of these cases don't have loot in them. This isn't a this isn't a particularly good building. Not a lot of stuff in here. Let's check this one. Can I get into this one? Let me search this one. Yeah, nothing in there. Okay, we'll keep moving. Let's come around here. Oh, I think I see a zombie over there. Yep, there's a zombie over there. You see him? There's two zombies over there. Let's try to avoid them. Uh, what's this? We can pick something up here. That looks like herbs. Alright. Let's go around this way. I really don't want to attract attention if I don't have to... Oh! Oh, hello. Okay. Well. You want a boogie? Let's boogie. Oh. Oh. Yep. Aim for the head. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yep. I'm gonna poke you in the eye. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. Smack him. Let's try to go this way. 
I don't want to bring him towards all the other zombies over there. Whoop, poke, and there goes his head. All right, well, let's see if there's anything good in this uh, trash bag here. Okay, we picked up something. Fabric, okay, excellent. We're, we're going to need a lot of that. We're going to need tons and tons of fabric. And you can see that did do some damage to our spear. Now, this stuff over here we can't grab. I, I was watching other people's gameplay. You can't grab these, uh, this, the clothes over here. Got a truck over here. Let's see what we got over here. Nothing here. I recognize this truck. And of course, uh, it, it, it's very similar to Mist. Like, like I said, uh, there's there's some differences. Obviously, the inventory is different. It's a lot more like DayZ. Uh, but I, I do see I do see some similarities with Mist. And of course, uh, like Mist and a lot of other survival games. Uh, you start out naked, and uh, you have to add clothes as you go on. It's the opposite of Chippendales, like a weird uh, bizarro Chippendales. And uh, let's, uh, let's check in here, see if there's anything in there. Okay, so I I'm noticing some areas have loot and some don't. I guess we'll check out some of these houses. I think you just pushed the door open. Hello? No one home. Now, of course, we can just push the door open, but the zombies can do the same thing. So that's one, one thing we have to watch out for. Oh, bread. Okay, we're going to take some bread and jerky. Okay, that's not going to help our thirst. We are kind of thirsty, but uh, it will help our hunger a little bit. All right, nothing in there. Can I close this? I can't close that door. That, oh, man. Oh, boy. That scares me. Okay, some uh, canned honey meat. Is that what it is? Canned honey meat. I don't know what that is. Maybe uh, honey pork or something like that. Honey glazed ham. The honey glazed ham. Not a lot in here. What is, what's this? Energy bar. That might be pretty good. Maybe we'll take the energy bar. I swear I just heard a zombie out there. Oh, man. This is scary. I have some wine here. I don't know how much that's really going to help our thirst. I think that's going to make us even thirstier. But maybe we'll maybe we'll drink that. Give it a go. Okay. Check in here. Dog food. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the dog food. <laughs> I'm going to leave the dog food. Let's check in here. This looks like a stove of some sort. Condenser. Okay. Can I uh, open up these water bottles? No. Anything on the table? No. Oh, something here. Okay, well, not bad. I guess uh, I guess we should try drinking and, and see see uh, what happens here. It'll give us plus twenty on the uh, thirst. So, oh, plus twenty mentality too. So, okay, so there's um, there's health, there's carbs, mentality, hygiene. That's important. Okay, um, our thirst, our proteins, physical strength, and that I assume is our health right here. Our health bar. Unless this is our health. This is our health. And then this is virus antibody. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and drink the wine. We're going to eat the wine. Yes, it, it's hardened. <laughs> it's a little disturbing. All right. Um, and the bread. Bread will give us um, 20 carbs. I guess we could eat that, right? Get that out of our inventory. It's going to take our thirst down a little bit, but that's okay. We just drank a little bit ago. Okay, and then the jerky is also going to make us thirsty, so I don't think I'm going to eat that quite yet. I'm going to hold off on that. It's getting later in the day. Uh, one thing we should probably get to work on is getting a bed set up. I'm not sure what all we need for a bed. Let's, uh... Is it, is it in our, uh... Is it in here? I think it's in here. Um... No, it's under the... It's under the hammer. Let's see, furniture. Yeah, straw mat. So that, that we'll spawn back at our bed. So if, if something happens to us and we die, we will spawn back there. So six sticks and 20 plant fibers. Okay. I always hit escape. I'm sorry, guys. You, you guys are probably yelling at me. Stop hitting escape. That, that's just how I get out of the inventory on other games. I got another, another house right here. Let's see what we got in here. No zombies in here. All right. I wish I could close this. There we go. Oh, my. Okay. I can close it a little bit too much. Let's search all this stuff. Nothing there. We've got another fridge here. Hopefully some water or something in here. 
dog food, canned vegetables. Well, I mean, the food is good. I don't know, guys. I guess we should grab the food. It's getting dark. Oh, it's getting real dark. Maybe there's a gun and some ammo in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right. Um. Oh, man. Can I put this in here? Switch that out for that. Thank you very much. Now we just need some ammo. Maybe we get lucky and find some in here. Please. Oh, Italian shotgun. <gasps> Ooh, Benelli. All right. That's even better. Well, it depends. It depends on uh, what kind of ammo we can find. This is 5.56. Five, this is 12 gauge. I think I would feel a little bit more comfortable with 12 gauge. Hopefully we can find some 12 gauge ammo here. And oh my. Okay, so toolbox. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. We're not going to be able to take this stuff. I, I need a larger bag than what I got. I can't store all this stuff in my pants. I'm sorry. Is that a zombie out there? I don't have any ammo for this. I swear I just saw movement out here, guys. Oh, man. Oh, I'm scared. It's a zombie. Hi. It's a zombie girl. Hi there. Uh, oh. You don't like that? You shouldn't you shouldn't come over here unannounced. Man, poke. Poke. Okay, I, I gotta get this down. Okay, he, he pokes up high and then he pokes high and then he pokes low. Or maybe not. I don't know. Still gotta still gotta figure that out. We got some more uh, fibers there, so that's good. Or cloth. I think it was cloth. Can I just close that just a little bit? No. It just flies open and then it comes back here. Okay, so I think the hinge is all screwed up on this door. Let's not worry too much about it. We do have a light, I think. No quip. Okay. So we have we have to find a flashlight. Maybe we'll find one in here and get lucky. Uh, there's a battery. We're going to need that for a flashlight. I know that. Mending tools, simple parts, toolbox. Again, stuff. I don't know what's good and what isn't. So you guys will probably have to let me know in the comments. But I I'm just basing this on the space that I have. Food is going to be important. Weapons are going to be important. Uh, strap. Oh, this is gonna we're going to need that for a, uh, a bandage. That's basically a bandage. So... In case we get cut, we're going to need one of those. So definitely need to take that. Again, more food. We can't stack the food, unfortunately. Will it let me stack it? Oh, it might let me stack it. Hold on. Nope. Won't let me stack. All right. No big deal. Toss that back in there. Anything else in here? Oh, we can search this stuff, too. All right. Maybe we get lucky and find some water. Potato seeds and cotton seeds. Okay, so there's gardening in this game as well, which I'm, I'm excited about. Definitely can't wait to try that out. Oh, wow. A lot of seeds and stuff here. This is good. This is good. We searched that already. All right. Well, let's come back out here. Because uh, we're definitely going to need to do something about our thirst. There's another house here. Let's hope there's nobody inside. Was I in this one already? I was in this house already, I think. Oh, no, I haven't been in there. Why is that door open? Oh, man. Oh, boy, guys. I'm so scared. Now, I can't hear the zombies as well as you can probably hear them. I have my volume turned down a bit. Because it seems like every time I record a game, the volume is just super loud, and you can barely hear my voice. I'm still trying to figure out why that's doing that. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not very technologically proficient. So, I don't know the whole deal behind that. But, every time I try to record something, I always have to make sure that... Oh, here we go. 5.56. Five, Alright, we're going to go get the other gun. I always have to make sure that the volume is down a little bit. So, I can't hear it as well. And there's some 12 gauge as well. Perfect. Alright. Now, there's only three, uh, three rounds of 12 gauge. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to come back over here. To this house. It's this middle house, right? Yeah, the middle house. The one that doesn't have a car out in front of it. We're going to go back in here. And 
think it was this crate here. Oh, I don't want to get stuck. It's this crate right here. So I'm going to put the Benelli back in here. I'm going to take this gun right here. We're going to store the 12 gauge here. This stuff's not going to disappear. It'll stay here. And then I'm going to still, I'm going to set some of this food in here too. Cause yeah, I don't know where else to put it. Try to keep everything together if we can. There was that other food that was in here. I think it was this one. Let's take that. And we're going to put that in here too. Just so I don't lose it. Okay. Perfect. All right. And then now we're going to go to our gun. And we're going to load that up. Awesome. All right. Now I'm feeling a little bit better. Now I know the gunshots do attract more zombies. So that's one thing we have to watch out for. Uh, we should probably get to work on getting a bed though. I think that's uh, probably a high priority at this point. So let's pull out our axe. And can we chop the little Christmas tree? No? All right. Well, let's see which, which direction I'm facing right now. Oh, I think I want to go in that direction, don't I? All right, we're going to waltz on down the road here with our gun. We're going to move in this direction. There's some creepy sounds in this game, guys. There were a bunch of zombies over there. There's another building here. So I think we probably want to check it out. Oh, it's a creepy night. It's a creepy night. One thing I'm worried about most is uh, running into a bunch of zombies at once. I can handle one zombie at a time. And maybe two, but... You find like five or six. Oh man, it's dark. Okay, let's search it up. More food, bread, and stuff like that. You know what, let's put this jerky in here. Let's see, what can I eat? We gotta get our, uh... Let's see, everything's okay. The protein's a little bit low. The thing I don't like doing here is eating this jerky because I know it's... What about this? That's got 20 protein. Let's eat this. It might even give us a little bit of uh, thirst as well. Yeah, it didn't give us any. I, I just I just don't want to eat that jerky because it was minus ten on the on the thirst. All right, just need some water. An orange that's going to give us a little bit of thirst. It's going to give us some carbs. We already have full carbs though. Mentality. It's going to bring up our mentality. I need, I need thirst right now, so you know what? Let's just eat the orange. Wait, it went down! And then it went back up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. No food in here. Let's search this one. Here's some more food. This is going to give us plus five on thirst. What is this? Pork, corn, cucumber. Let's eat the cucumber. Plus five on the thirst. I really need to find a water bottle or something. Copper ore. Okay. Don't really need that right now. Okay, and then we got this over here. We got a search. Nutrient solution. I don't think we want to drink that. That uh would probably be a bad idea. Oh, there's a zombie. Alright. Round two. Can you get up here? We can get up here. Oh. Oh, oh, you can get up there. Oh, hello. Sorry, ma'am. We're not open tonight. All right. Let's see if we get some more cloth here. Oh, what did we pick up? What is that? What did we pick up? Pathogen. Ooh. Ooh, pathogen. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> I don't know if I want that. Um... Let's, uh, oh, here we go. What's this? That's the well. Can we use this? No, I can't use it. I'm going to put the pathogen in this trunk over here. Yeah. Seems like a good plan. Oh! 
That's even better. Look at that. Equip. Look at that, guys. Now we have space. Okay. I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, so, we got that. I, I think we should definitely put down... Yeah, we should definitely put down a, um, a straw bed. So, let's take a look again and see what we need for that. It's going to need six sticks and 20 plant fibers. Right now, as of right now, we have... Five plant fibers and zero sticks. So that's something we need to uh, gather. So let's get out. Let's get out the axe. And let's start gathering. We've got two sticks there. Five plant fibers. I need a little bit more. I think that's a good, uh, a plan, a good plan for us. I don't want to go too far away without uh, setting up a spawn point. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to need a little bit more, I think. Alright, we should be good now. Let's come back over here. I think this is probably a safe place for us to sleep. I don't know. I don't know the map, so <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I think uh, right over here, kind of kind of safe from the zombies. You can't really... Zombies can't really see us if we're sleeping over here, so I think this would be a good spot. So let's go five. And then... Straw mat. I'm gonna rotate it, and we're gonna place it right here. Okay. And uh, I can get out of that. I think right-click. There we go. Alright, and then we just add materials. So hold down E. All right. Okay, you have to hit it. Oh, that's annoying. I wish we could just hold that down, but there we go. Uh, we've got a straw mat. That's our spawn point. So there you go. You can repair it by holding down uh, right click. You can destroy it by holding down left click. And I think whenever you remove it, it returns all the materials, as it says right there. So I think uh, I think that'll be good. I, I think we're good if we uh, if we do die, we'll just spawn right back there. So so that's good. Okay. Well. Um, I guess we could hit up... I think there was another house over here. So maybe we'll hit this house over here. See what's in here. I'm feeling a little bit better about things. But again, thirst is definitely an issue for us right now. We're down to 34%. So hopefully we can find some water. I wish there was a little bit, a little bit more thirst in the game. That's one thing I uh, wish we had. Alright, let's try out the gun. We need to find out. How bad this is. Oh, that's pretty good. Except, now it's going to attract more zombies. Unless that was the only one. Alright, what do we get there? Trash. Nothing. Rotten food. Yeah, I don't need that. Alright. We'll drop that. There comes another zombie. Oh. Boom. That's <laughs> just so silly. Alright. No useful item found. Okay, it looks like the morning is on its way. I need something to drink. I'm getting thirsty. we got to be careful we don't get hurt either. But I know you can step on stuff if you're in your bare feet. Oh, we got a well here. Oh, here we go. All right, is this, is this water good? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Drink water. Okay, that was an interesting way to drink. But uh, there you go. We drank the water. Can we drink it again? Yes, we can. We're going to find out if it kills us or not. But that... Oh, that was a good find, guys. That was a good find. Okay. Okay, good start. That's a good start. There's um, another house right here. I don't think we were in this house yet. And then there's a house up there, too, I want to check out. So let's, uh, let's go in here. Nobody's home, fortunately. Search in here and see what we got. Oh, I heard some. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I get sick? I got sick. I drank that well water. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, guys. See the little bug right there on the top? I think we got the malaria. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Figures. Still haven't found any clothes yet. 
Can I grab this? No. Alcohol. I might need that. Let's search this. Oh, here's some more ammo right here. We're going to put that in there. Oh, more ammo. I love that. There's some more 5.56. Five, and gun oil. That looks suspiciously like WD-40. Okay, I'm not going to judge. More ammo here. Oh, man. This is good stuff right here. This this was a good house. Except, uh... Yeah, now we're, we're in trouble. <laughs> Here's some shoes. We're going to go ahead and wear these. It's better than nothing. Let's check in here. And, oh, here we go. Breeding and Farming, Volume 2. These are things that we can um, we can read. So I don't know if these are magazines or books or what. Now, apparently you have to read them starting at Volume 1. So this is Volume 4. This is Volume 2. So you have to start at Volume 1, unfortunately. It's not like Seven Days where you can just read a random one and it'll it'll give you everything you need. You have to start at the beginning. And you have to build on it. Alright. Can I get in this uh, shed over here? Maybe on the other side. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, I think we made a mistake drinking that water. Maybe there's some medicine up here. What's this? Herbs. One of the herbs. Let me eat the herbs and see if that helps us. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna find out. It is an experiment, guys. It's, it's trial and error. First time we've ever played this. I don't know what's gonna happen. You guys may or may not know what's gonna happen. That looks like some chaga right there. Can I can I grab that? No. No, I can't. Unfortunately. Oh, this is a barn up here. I thought this was a house. Got a hose over here. Can I grab the hose? No, I can't grab the hose. I think the only stuff that you can grab, you have to actually search. Search it, and it's going to be in a, in a container like this. Okay, nothing in there. Let's see what we got in here. There's an axe. Oh, that's nice. It's better than the one we have. Although, it is probably a little bit heavier. Can I put it in there? I can't put it in there. cannot be equipped here. Probably because it's too big. Yeah, it's probably... Uh, we should probably... Um, well, maybe I should... I can, I can fit it in here, right? Yeah, let's fit it in there. That might be pretty good. That might be something we want to have on us. Alright, let's search this. Limestone. Wheat. Oh. Um. I, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that at this point. So let's just leave it in there. We'll come back and loot all this stuff again. Oh, crowbar. That's, that's a good find right there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh. Bunch of stuff in here. There's a toolbox. I've seen a lot of these toolboxes. I'm going to grab one because it seems like it's important. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And we'll search these boxes as well. Another crowbar. We'll leave that one. We'll be back and we're going to grab all this stuff at some point. Oil extractor maintenance guide. Can't do anything with that. All right. Oh. I'll just put it back in here. I searched the bottom box. Greenhouse planting and construction. Again, I don't know what I can do with that, so just leave it in there. Uh oh. That sounded like a zombie. Is that a zombie? I don't know, guys. That was really scary. I heard something. Maybe it's in here.
Where are you hiding? I know I heard you. Well, maybe, uh, maybe that was just a figment of my imagination. It's possible. Okay, well, not, uh, not a terrible start. I mean, we got, uh, we got some shoes. <laughs> we got a backpack. We did find a decent amount of ammo, and there's plenty of food in the game. Water is definitely an issue. I, I wish there were more water bottles around the map, and more of that, uh, that corn wine or whatever. So, that's one thing I'd like to see a little bit more of. But uh, overall, not too bad of a start. I feel like the uh, that malaria is gonna really, really mess with us. So I, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do about it. But uh, we're just gonna keep rolling, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't kill us. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Share with your friends. Subscribe to get more videos, and we will continue on in the next one. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.